Hi guys, this is my new PEP 8 tutorial, which will be 10th tutorial. Now, as you may know, uh, PEP 8 tutorial finished a long time ago, and I decided to do just, uh, just the basics and show you, you know, uh, how to do the if statements, loops, and stuff like this, and simple calculations, uh, which I've done in my previous tutorials. But uh, because of one uh, YouTube user, he sent me a, a message with a question and the question was how can i create a program that allows a user to input values while the program is running so pr pretty much something like you can do in java c++ or c uh, c sharp or whatever it is and i was baffled by this question because i i didn't know actually you can achieve this and uh, i was so baffled by it i researched the question and it turns out you can actually do this uh, which I didn't show you in my any of my tutorials previously that's why I'm creating this new tutorial and maybe I'll create one more to show you how you can achieve this uh, type of thing and this may be useful to you if uh, for example in the future you learn uh, PEP 8 at university or otherwise and um, it will just simply show you how you can create a program and then ask user for the input not just and uh, put it put the input first and then program will uh, run through the sequence stop at the end you have no control over it and output whatever it is going to output now i've used a batch io uh, which uh, i've used throughout my tutorials up to ninth tutorial or even tenth the special tutorial this will be the tenth the, the other one will change and um I didn't actually consider the terminal because I thought it, it's not very useful to me um, but actually it's very useful if you want to achieve that kind of things the code doesn't really change you can pretty much do anything but instead of running it in batch IO you run it in terminal that means you can output the message first ask user for input for example calculate the input and output the input uh, or calculation basically and that's pretty much how you do it with uh, any programming language for example you ask user to input something you then calculate it and, and, and display it so user is uh, entering values as the program is running and to to do that is pretty much simple because instead of using the batch uh, io we use a terminal io and the code is pretty much the same that i'm just going to show you today a a certain uh, you know, example Main, for example, I'll have two variables x and y, for example, uh, the black two and y, and also black two. Now, what you do with normal variables if you want to calculate, you just simply add them together. And um, so I will just do a simple calculation, you know, addition. Uh, I'll add those two variables and just store them and output them. And uh, so how this will work? Um, so simple deci statement. Uh, x uh, d uh, again that's y d uh, there you go uh, I will load and um, load and um, let's say y okay, y d and uh, add accumulator uh, okay there you go uh, x I will add x and store that in the y Decimal outputs and uh, inputs, decimal outputs and uh, y d stop and end. So pretty simple program. Now if I just run it in the batch IO, I'll have to input my values first. So if I run it here, you will see invalid decimal input. If I input some kind of values and I run it then, you'll notice a output which is a result of those two added together but if I do something like this if I just go to terminal I select this tab and I run the program you will notice I will have this uh, underscore and I'm able to enter any number as you can see uh, the program is running and I'm able to enter the number so if I enter for example 23 I press enter it will ask me for another number so if I press, for example, 34, I press enter, and you will see that the program stops because there is nothing else to do, and it will output the result for me. 
So as you can see, you can actually create that kind of programs and uh, ask user for the input for different type of choices uh, when the program is running. So uh, you can actually now create, for example, switch statements. Uh, you can create loops that depend on user input. So you don't have to assume input here, but you can actually create a loop to continue the program or exit the program whenever the user inputs some kind of value. You can display the messages. I can add an ASCII string here and display the message. Please enter the number, for example. I display the message first, then I'll allow the user to enter the number. And again, I can display, for example, enter the second number and then user will enter the second number and so on. Then I can, for example, calculate those numbers or I can do something else with it. Uh, but uh, I can just put it into the loop, for example. And if user wants to continue uh, doing this calculations, for example, um, I can just simply say, well, press one, for example, if you want to continue or press zero if you want to quit. And if zero, then I can branch it to, to the stop program. Otherwise, I will loop it again with different values. Uh, ask for input again and to display different values, different results. So as you can see, it's a more a bit uh, dynamic uh, program uh, than just batch uh, I.O. And um, this one is just a introduction to this. I will create one more or maybe two more tutorials about the PEP8. I will show you how this terminal works uh, with more examples uh, as I didn't uh, pretty much use it any in my other previous tutorials. So I'll just cover uh, the terminal, how to use it and stuff like this. Uh, you pretty much have the idea how to use it now. I will show you a more um, uh, advanced, uh, let's say, um, examples with loops, with if statements, so that you get idea how this might work with you, uh, for you. Uh, I'll also show you a functions because I have functions already. I have tutorial on functions already. But it's a special tutorial and it's available only for the Christmas. And uh, some people uh, ask me to, you know, put, uh, ask me about the functions and stuff like this. So that's why I will create a new tutorial with functions only, which will be available all the time. So you can just watch it if you want to. This one will be just uh, introduction to the terminal. As you can see, you can accomplish this. And if I run it again, it will just simply ask another value. Uh, like so I calculate it again. I can put it in the loop and ask for the calculations as many times as the user will enter to continue it. So this is how it will determine how it will work. And I will just show you more examples uh, in the future, in the next tutorial. And then I will show you how to do the functions so you will get a tutorial on functions uh, for the whole year. So whenever you need it, you will be able to watch it. And that's pretty much it from me for this tutorial. I visit my webpage and YouTube channel for more tutorials. If you like my videos, subscribe on the videos on the channel. I wouldn't mind if you want to share them or like them. Um, if you visit my webpage, there are loads of tutorials on other programming languages. Uh, you can download them or view them uh, through the Mediafire and uh, RapidShare. I provide links for both, so whichever you prefer. And um, there's also links to YouTube channel, uh, so you, different videos and stuff like this. I also create a game, uh, which is RPG game. You can have a look at this and download it and play a first chapter because I'm still in the process of creating the game. And um, well, that's pretty much it. I will see you in my next tutorial and bye.